Yo, 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 it's JSF. I hope y'all doing all right. I hope everything is good. Um, first things first, I just want to say I am the last to advocate for Aaron Black buffs. This character is very viable, uh, top tier probably or possibly, or I 100,000% think he's top tier. He's very obnoxious, very annoying, very good online. The last thing I want to do is buff him, but I do think it's interesting to look at these moves um, that are in the game. Some of these uh, abilities, especially, right? It's one thing to have a like a base move that's not good. It's another thing to have a move that's like you want me to spend one or two ability slots on this. Like, what are y'all talking? Like, it's interesting to look at the some of these moves and wonder like what was NRS smoking when they designed this. But then you think about it more and you go, oh wait, they don't know anything about fighting games, etc. So. I like doing these videos because it's more like how I would tweak these moves, how we could redesign these moves, how we can make a better game in the future. Not necessarily this game because it doesn't seem like they're going to patch it anymore, but for the future. So just getting that out of the way. So I do want to talk about Spawn and Aaron Black. As a lot of y'all know, I play Spawn. I play a lot of Spawn. I considered myself the best Spawn player on the planet at a certain point. I might still be, but I, I don't really, you know, I don't really, you know, aim for that really anymore. I just knew when I was really grinding and really playing Spawn, I was... I was just OD with the character. <laughs> but Spawn is one of like maybe three or four characters who didn't get better when custom variations came out. So once customs were unleashed and we were able to pick whatever moves we wanted, right? Whatever abilities we wanted. Spawn did not get better. When I play Spawn, I still play tournament variation too because that is still the most optimal way to play it. Now, can I play a variation with command grab, low chain, and fraud you out a bunch of times? Of course I can. But frauding somebody out doesn't make a character good. It means you frauded somebody out. <laughs> so anyway, I want to talk about multiple moves for both of these characters. So I should stop talking so much and get into it. Um, I want to talk about Aaron Black. Um, first of all, I want to talk about uh, Dynamite. Um, if y'all don't know, Dynamite is unblockable. I think it's called TNT Toss, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, TNT Toss. You can, you can um, cancel it by pressing down, down. You know what I mean? You can throw it close. You can throw a regular. You can throw it far. You know, all that good stuff. Um, and like I said, it's unblockable. As you know, right? In case you don't know. And it's unblockable. <laughs> so if I'm in the range when it blows up, I get hit too. Um, kind of stupid, but it's funny, right? This Red Dead Redemption ass move um, is super kooky, super goofy. I don't think this move was ever designed and intended to be a viable competitive move. But then I think they put it in a competitive area. I don't know what NetherRealm's doing. But if this move were to be a viable competitive move, I think it's possible. <clears throat> but obviously it needs some tweaks, right? Look at the startup. 59 startup frames. That means a whole second, right? And that's not from start to finish, because if you look at the number when it first pops up in the bottom left, it says 22, right? It's 22 frames for him to light and, you know, for him to light and strike the match and get the dynamite going. For him to throw it, it's a whole second. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this move takes a lot of time. Like if you, if I just say knock him down or something, right? I get this and then I want a dynamite after. Look at Spawn. He's, he's been ready to clean my shit, right? <clears throat> like... Let's have Aaron Black do that. EX into Dynamite. And I'm holding down Black to block. You can see how this is about to go, right? I'm not going to wake up with anything. Look how long I waited and I still got to punish, right? I still got to punish. After waiting all that time, I still got to punish. So it has so much startup. I understand why it has startup. It's because it leads into an unblockable move, right? totally powerful but not only does it have startup it also has time you have to wait for the bomb to blow up right so yeah this move should have startup for sure but i think they kind of went overboard i think they kind of od'd on the startup because once you get it on the ground it doesn't even mean that like like he's still safe you know what i mean like like let's say hmm how, how can i frame this i i can literally okay i got an idea so I'm going to have him literally throw it, bruh. Literally throw the dynamite and block. I'm not going to move to the dynamite. It's thrown. It's thrown. I still didn't get hit by it. Like, you see that? Like, the explosion radius isn't even big enough to hit me in that situation, right? So, like, for this move to have any type of use, you would have to do a couple of things, right? You could lower the startup a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. You could increase the blast radius. 
because like it just doesn't really have no range. Like the little explosion you see is about it, right? That that's about no. Nah, that's he's gonna get smoked. <laughs> I want to get in a range where he won't get smoked, right? That's about the entire range of the move. You could slightly increase that, or you could do something else I've thought of, which is when when Aaron Black has a dynamite. Remember, he can cancel it. He can hold it, right? You see the you see the fire ticking down. You can see the fire ticking down on the dynamite. At any point, he can cancel it, right? He pulls out a new one. It's completely lit from the top again. He can cancel it at any point. You can, you. Sh I think they should make it that if the dynamite is out and Aaron Black gets hit, we both fucking blow up, right? Like, so basically, if he's doing this and holding the dynamite out and I combo him, instead of the dynamite falling like that, because you see how the dynamite fell and I just flew right past it? Look, he's going to be holding dynamite, boop, boop. You know what I mean? I'm right past it, right? Wait, I said, uh, 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 I still didn't get blown up, right? Like, I think if you hit him while the dynamite is in his hand and lit, you both should explode, right? Now, that wouldn't be a great thing for him, but it would make them think about, like, yo, I'm going to get hit if I combo him. Or they would have to back up and try to hit you with a projectile, right? And in that case, you cancel it. Maybe you block and maybe the cancel doesn't. Maybe the cancel doesn't have to take as long as it does, right? Eh, the cancel's not too bad. If you see them back it up instead of coming at you, you know what I mean? You do something like that. And then when they start backing up, maybe you throw the dynamite. You would get something. I'm not saying this would make the move amazing, but like say I, I knock him down or something. Boom. I whip out the dynamite. Is he coming towards me or away from me? Away from me. I hold it for a little bit. I, I hold it for a little bit. Is he coming? He's running away. Boom. Blow his ass up. Right? He's still coming towards me. He still wants to smoke. Fine. Throw it close, or I just hold it. Let us both fuck it. Or I just hold it. He comes up close to me. He's not respecting it. Fine. We both blow the fuck up, right? That's what I think would happen, right? If he hits me, right? Um, I think that would help that move a lot or make it some somewhat useful. Because remember, if you have a life lead and they're trying to rush you down, trying to attack you or something, pull out the dynamite. <laughs> like, they hit you, yeah, but you guys both get smoked. Like, it would make it very obnoxious. <laughs> but I think it would make it interesting. Now, I've been talking about that move for a lot. I want to talk about one other move that is completely and utterly, absolutely useless. Um, that's this move. Air, up Peacemaker. Up Peacemaker, right? Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but unless you're playing Fujin or Spawn, actually, there ain't many characters who can just hang out in the sky like that. So this literally will not hit a grounded opponent. So it has to be an anti-airing move, right? That's literally the only possible use for this move, right? You can't... You can't combo into it, right? There ain't no... Like, there's no way to combo into this, right? Like, there's absolutely zero. This move only exists to be an anti-air, right? Now, we know anti-airs in this game don't really exist. Anti-airing is ass. But the funny part is, it's 14 frame startup. His down two is 10 frames. Most down twos are 9 frames. Some are 10. I think Sindel's is 13 because it's got mad range. Um, This is slower than an anti-air down two, right? Now just just for a little more uh a little more perspective on it right right let's see hold on let me let me let me set let me do this right let me do this right a regular jump in a late jump in that and then that right and what we'll play back will be whatever I'm gonna try to react with my with my with my uh with my with my anti okay okay got him nope got him nope nope like as you can see right it's something that you're not seeing that can also happen something that you're not seeing that can also happen is this right you just completely fucking whiff because he takes a back step when he does this move. It's very possible. It's hard. Uh, every time I try to demonstrate something, it never happens. But when I was doing this before I started recording, <laughs> this shit happened a lot. So, like, he jumps. He Let's have him not even do that. Just jump. Oh, it's still on random hidden playback. Hold up. 
Like, if you're, like, here... Yeah, I'm smoking this shit right now. <laughs> there is no EX on it. But basically, you can just whiff this. Like, it can just whiff like this when he's in the air. It's hard to show it right now, but it's a very real thing. Now, you can... If you're close enough, right? God, it's just so hard to show. <laughs> if you're close enough... You can get, um... Bruh. Okay, I'm, I'm just never gonna get this, am I? Yeah, you can get a combo off of it, right? As you can see, very, very practical. <laughs> but other than that, this move really doesn't do shit. It's too slow to be an anti-air. It moves him back, which theoretically is good, you would say, because it kind of moves you out of the way. But the arc is too upward. The arc is too upward and not enough forward that you can whiff. And, um... Yeah, it doesn't really discourage anybody from jumping at you. Right? Oh, he lost 7%. Cool. Right? Something like that, right? So, basically, it would need... This move would need to be a little bit faster and a little more forward. Not so much upward. Um, like, other characters, like Sonya's ass whooping, I think it's called. Or whatever, air control. Her air control is like 9 frames. That's an anti-air. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think Robocop's air gun, anti-air gun is faster than this. Like, move if it's supposed to be an anti-air move in this game, where jumping jumping is about 24 total frames. If my button is 14 frames and he's in the air at frame 8 or 9 and he's got a button out like this, or a jump fucking kick out or something, like, you're gonna get smoked. Like, that button, like, look how fast that button comes out, you know what I mean? Granted, he moves backwards, but like, cool, you got your little seven percent. They're gonna—they're not gonna stop jumping after seven percent. Like, it's not gonna do anything. <laughs> like, it needs to—it it needs to have like, like the juggle property that you get when you hit it like that needs to always be the case, right? So you can always get something like that, and it needs to be a little bit faster. Granted, I'm not saying that he needs you know more shit, but. You know, if you're going to design an anti-air move for the character, at least make it an anti-air. Like, shit sucks. Um, anyway, now to spawn. <laughs> so much talk about Aaron Black. Let's get to some spawn. Um, I have Plasma Pool. This is pretty self-explanatory. What this move does is it builds meter. Right? If you're in the Plasma Pool, your meter goes up significantly faster, as you can see. Sounds like a cool move, but has mad startup, as you can see. 21 frames... And you're still in recovery after those 21 frames. So the only way to safely to safely get this out, right, would mean you have to play the launcher. Because nothing else is safe enough, right? You would have to do something like this and then get it going, right? And you're completely safe in a situation, which is, like, cute, but you just sacrifice damage. Which is the whole reason you play this move. Like, you can do something, like, you can try something like that. Um, but yeah, you're, you're giving up damage every time to rebuild the meter to not really do much damage. So then it becomes, why am I playing the launcher if I'm not going to get any damage? Like, it, I, it, it, it's kind of like, it's just a weird kind of cycle thing. Like you play this because spawn is a powerhouse, right? The reason you play spawn is you want them to whiff punish. You want them to outspace people. You want to do good damage. Um, if you're doing this move like to get it out safely you gotta either just do it from full screen you know what i mean and like a zoning type of situation do it from full screen and his zoning is fine but against actual zoners who will let you stay full screen like this you're gonna get your shit cleaned up it doesn't matter if you have more meter or not katana's gonna zone you out right it's not gonna stop the process it's not gonna change the matchup it's not gonna help you out as much as you need it to help you out and then eventually you're gonna want to get in against that character Oh, whoops, the meter gain's gone, right? Like, this move is tough, man. It's just kind of like, this isn't really what the character needed. Um, to make this move kind of viable, kind of useful, I would say, first off, just give me this. Don't make me, because if you charge the move, if you hold the button, it, it spreads, right? Just don't give me this shit. Give me the full spread when I do the move. Give me the full spread when I do the move, right? All of it. And... You know, maybe you make it a little more startup or something. But again, like I'm saying, um, I'm giving up damage to do it, right? Like something like that, right? 
I 26% combo is not amazing damage. You know, I'm giving that up and I'm giving up hit advantage on my own wake up, right? Like I'm not plus right now. If he has a button that reaches me, I'm kind of smoked, but he probably doesn't. But give me the max range and make it so if they step in the puddle, oh, fuck puddle, whatever shit is, that they lose meter, right? Like he, nothing happens to him as it currently stands. Make it so his meter gets drained when he's in it. So I have a more of a reason to do it than just LOL, I wanna build meter. Like, you know what I mean? Like, cool, building meter is great and all, but like, cool, you got meter, like, yay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's good. I, I don't wanna make it sound like building meter is bad or anything like that, it's not. Especially spawn, like, cause they're gonna probably break your combos. And when you have meter, you're at your most deadly. So it's definitely, I get where they were going with it, but it has so much startup, so little range, unless you make it have more startup. And like, it doesn't do anything to them. So you got to make sure they can't punish you while you have it out. You got to do like jump kick into it or something. And you got to let it go fast so you can still be safe. And when you do that, it has no range. So now once you move, you're out of the shit. Like, just give me more range on it. Make it dangerous for them to get into it. Because then it makes them, you know, hesitate about approaching you while you're in it, right? Because like, look how big it is at this point. If he wants to get in on me, fine. Come, come, come through, right? Come through, join the club, boom, boom. Look, I got plenty of space for you, bro. I'm still in the puddle. Look how much puddle's in front of me. If you wanna approach me, you gotta, you gotta, you know what I mean? You gotta risk losing some meter. That would make it very, very useful. Um, Spawn's got a few other moves. Let, let me get to the variation that has all the moves for Spawn. <laughs> Cause it's a lot of them. So I wanna talk about this move as well. This move is awful. This move is awful. Um, you know how I said, so you can look at this and say, oh, that's like an anti-air gunshot, right? It shoots upward, right? Um, you know how I said Aaron Black's anti-air is too slow at 14 frames? Just 23 frames. This is not anti-airing a fucking thing. This might anti-air somebody jumping around from half screen or further away, but chances are that's a scorpion player and he can whiff punish you with teleport. So you still can use it, right? Not to mention, um... You know what I mean? <laughs> and if you do get it to combo, the damage is abysmal. The damage is fucking awful. You know, the, the chip's okay. The chip's okay. But the thing is, they never have to deal with that, right? It's not real. This is not real on blocks. So, like, let's say, for example... Like, if a, I'm so bad at this game. Like, did you see it just whiff? I'm trash, but he can literally slide. Is what I'm trying to do. Like, you have all the time in the world to punish him in between that, right? And I know, oh, that's just that one string. Oh, you know, that's just that one string. Uh, like, you don't have to respect it. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's useless in block strings. In his regular fireball in block strings, it's kind of capped too. But in some matchups, it's super real. That like, it'll really jail. And, um, so it's it's good for that to give him a safe special in those situations. His regular fireball is way too good to be replaced with this shit. Like you think it does like good chip or something. Like there's no reason to ever pick this move. It doesn't do anything. Like. I, I would I would argue to repurpose the whole animation and just have it be a straight shot instead of an upward shot Because going upward like that is trash because if that's supposed to anti-air it needs to be a lot faster It can't be 23 frames. It needs to be way faster than that. It's super useless Um spawn already has the issue where he can't jail into any high like his high specials Like he can't do it in block strings it Just it don't work. <laughs> so if he wants to jail into a special he has to go into something unsafe what sucks, you know what I mean? And this move doesn't help that whatsoever, which is kind of shitty. You can go into that, but you know what I mean? Then to have this move, you can't have a launcher, which is another issue, but this isn't a spawn sucks video. Just reminding y'all the spawn sucks. But for this move to be useful, this would have to be like a lot faster, like a lot faster. Have more of a lower hitbox because anybody can crouch block, crouch block under this. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 
Like, look at that. <laughs> like, the hitbox needs to be lower. The sign-up needs to be lessened. It needs to actually jail. Um, and then, did I even mention that there's a massive gap in it? <laughs> so, like, how do I show this? Bro, I'm trying to get hit. Yeah, there's a massive gap in between the regular and the EX, and the regular is unsafe, right? It's it's unsafe on block. Not that it shouldn't be unsafe on. I'm not saying like it needs to be safe or whatever, but I'm just saying, whoa, this is unsafe. Minus 28. You enhance it to make it safer, but there's a massive gap in it, right? And newsflash is still unsafe if you do it that close. But you know what I mean, like. It's board. It's literally not borderline. It's completely unusable. It's a joke of a move. It's it's kind of insane how much of a joke of a move this is. So like, it can't be this unsafe, this slow, and have this shitty of range, right? You got to make the hitbox lower. Like, it doesn't even hit from full screen, and it ain't just full screen, right? It moves you backwards, right? He got hit by one bullet. He would probably flop out of that on on hit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, man. That move needs a lot of tweaking. Um, make it faster. Make it hit lower. Um, I'm not, I don't want to say remove the gap. Ah, remove the fucking gap. It's unsafe. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, it's the same with the low gun. Like, it's unsafe already. Like, let it be minus 20. Like, if I do, if I do this, if I do that, let me just be minus 28, right? It doesn't need to have, like, the gap in between this and the EX, right? Because I will be able to visually confirm which one you did, like Scorpion's teleport. I don't know. I don't think it's so powerful that it needs to be that, like, easy to beat. You know what I mean? It's his fireball, and it replaces his other fireball. So that's the other thing. If this didn't replace his regular fireball, maybe we'd have something to talk about. Um, Last move I want to talk about is this shit. This move fucking sucks. Now, again, you get, like, a knockdown or you give up damage and you go into this. Or you just do it in neutral. Sure. What this move does is it gives you Fatal Blow early. I present to you Fatal Blow. Look at the damage. 224. 224 damage. Um, base Fatal Blow does about 330 like most Fatal Blows in the game. So you lose over 100 damage on that. If I if I do it off my max damage starter... Oh, I gotta do it first. Like, off my max damage little early string or whatever. Look at the damage on this. This shit is insane. 318, still less than just doing a regular Fatal Blow under 30% health. Now, if you are under 30% health, you get a damage buff on this move, but you shouldn't lose. Like, I'm wasting an ability slot on this bullshit. If I'm going to use this move, I shouldn't lose. I shouldn't lose damage for doing the move before I have 30 less than 30% health. The whole point of the move is, hey, you get Fatal Blow early. So why am I getting punished for doing Fatal Blow early? Give me my regular fucking damage. Not to mention Fatal Blow is a once one-time resource if you land it. So I'm wasting a whole ability slot on something that if I do successfully, I can only do once. Huh? I'm so confused on this shit. And let, let me... I know this video is too long already, but... But let me just show... If I do have this... If I, if I do have, if I if I am, here's the other thing that I hate. If I am under, like, here's regular Fatal Blow, like you see. If I am, have this activated under 30% health, then I get the good Fatal Blow activate, which should just be the normal Fatal Blow activate. Why is his good Fatal Blow activate tied to a move when every other character, well, most other characters just have a good Fatal Blow activate? And I'm not doing any, like, any of the mini game. I'm not mashing any buttons. With the damage buff, it goes from 330 to 352. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, that's not nearly enough. Like, for me to waste an ability slot, and Spawn is a character who needs his ability slots, right? Because he needs to spend two slots on his launcher. He needs it. It's so important for his game plan. Like, that's his whole character. Without doing damage, there's no reason to play Spawn. Like, he's not... He doesn't offer enough for you to, like... 
try to open your opponent up seven times a match. Like, no. He needs to open you up twice and kill you because he's only going to open you up twice because you're only going to make those two mistakes, assuming you're playing at a higher level. So, yeah, man, this is just bad. Um, if I'm going to spend an ability slot on this, I better get the regular damage. And then if I'm... and I, I, I should always get the big fatal blow, but maybe if I use this move, I always get big fatal blow, even if I have high health, right? Even if I have high health, I should still get the better fatal blow instead of having to throw this little shit. You know what I mean? Like... You know what I mean? Like, it's just... It's just not it. <laughs> like, this is a tough one. But to make this useful, like, this would need to do something else. Like, it would... it Like, you, you gotta give this man armor or something, like, to make this good. <laughs> but for me, basically, I would say this... For this move, give me my regular Fatal Blow damage on this. And any time I activate this move, I get the three hitting Fatal Blow. The one with the with the three bombs that I get when I have low health. So I get regular damage, and if I am under 30% health, then I get a damage boost. And it's a bigger damage boost than just the 20 damage that I got on the regular Fatal Blow. That's what I would do. So, anyway... That's how I would change these moves. I'm sorry for the super, super, super long video, but I've been kind of, it's kind of been taking me a couple of days to do a video here and there. So hopefully y'all like the longer videos. Hopefully y'all not mad. So it's like, if I don't get a video this day or that day, I just put in a massive video the next day. <laughs> hopefully y'all enjoy the content. I appreciate all y'all. Thank y'all for the subs. If you're not a sub and you enjoy the content, please subscribe. My channel is mad small, so I need every subscriber I can get so I can compete with the big content boys. Y'all know the vibe. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Stop talking y'all ears off. Y'all stay safe and have fun. JSF, I'm out. Peace.